For this video, I'm going to be drawing a picture of Spongebob. And I'm going to be giving you a couple of pointers of what I find helps me make drawing a cartoon character a little bit easier. First, I tend to start with making the eyes. And from the eyes, I kind of build around the rest of the facial features that I may see, such as the nose. You start to see SpongeBob's cheekbones on both sides of his eyes. From there, I do the insides of the eyes. I see two small ovals with more ovals on the inside. And then I pay attention to where the mouth begins. I know that the mouth is going to start at the one cheekbone and end at the other cheekbone. From there, I bring both sides down to make that upside down rainbow shape. Add the teeth. Add the shape of the tongue. Add those pretty little eyelashes. Pay attention to how high his eyebrows are above his eyelashes. That's where the sponge also then begins. I also pay attention to how high up I see his sleeve from the bottom of the sponge to the top of the sponge. I pay attention to the shape of the fingers. I see ovals and smaller circles. I see several triangles here in the shirt. So basically what you're doing is looking for shapes you can identify. Rectangles, squares, circular shapes, oval shapes. Adding the sponge holes. From here, what I'm going to do is outline, erase. Start with the eyes, nice light blue. Moving on to the red. See red in his tie, red in his tongue. The side of the pants are going to be darker, so I'm going to use a brown sharpie. Whereas the front of the pants are a little bit lighter brown, I'm going to use a colored pencil. Start working with the yellow. The inside of the mouth is kind of a maroon, darker red color, so I'll fill that in. And I'll use a black color pencil for this shape here. For the sponge holes, I'm going to use a colored pencil just to lightly color in those areas. Add a little bit of blue for the shine that's on the top of his shirt. And I'm done. I'm gonna cut it out so I can use it for my forced perspective project where I'll be placing him in several different photos for fun. The easiest thing to do when you are cutting a shape that's intricate is cutting off shapes at a time. So you cut out one small piece and then discard it. Rather than cutting out one huge area, cut off small areas at a time. This makes it a little easier to keep your character in place and to get every piece off. So from here, you guys can see, I have SpongeBob completely cut out, just like I have Courage here. I tape a pencil onto the back so you can use it to hold it in any frame of your photo. There you go.